Alright, in this video we'll uh, do a day of geocaching. So first thing we need to do is load up the data onto our GPS. So what we'll do is we'll connect this via USB and transfer geocaches onto the device. Now there's two ways, so I'll show you the two ways to do that. Alright, now that we plugged in our device into our computer, we can load up geocaches onto our device to do some paperless geocaching. Now there are two options to, do, to get your geocaches. Obviously, the first one is from geocache.com. That is the big listing service. Uh, here you can create a free account and find the area that you want to geocache and get to one of this listing pages. This is the geocache. It gives you all sorts of information about the geocache and you see all the logs and the previous people who've been finding them and logging their notes and all that stuff. Very useful information. Now, uh, you would have to pay an additional $30 a year to be able to download this entire page um, to get this but as a regular user basic user you can still get uh, the title the waypoint code which is the GC code and the difficulty and the coordinates so you can still find the geocache but you will still have to kinda review that afterwards to see whether or not it's been found recently or the hint and all that stuff in order to load that up, uh, we just see here at the bottom, send to my GPS, kind of is the easy way. Here we have the pop-up, and now the GPX file has been saved to the device. And we can do this a couple more times until we've loaded up our, our GPS. So that is the uh, geocaching.com way. The other way is to use opencaching.com. That is Garmin's website uh, for geocaching listings. There are a few less listings on here, depending where you are. Uh, but there's a couple ways to load up the, your geocaches. For example, if you're doing a series of geocaches, so we're going into a national park, and there are a couple of challenge series that we want to load up, there's a couple ways of doing it. Here we have the series page. Uh, you would have to get this link from the user account or from other link. This just gives you a, a brief summary of the challenge, and it lists below here all the geocaches that are part of the series and we have two files or two options I should say we can have we can send all the waypoints directly to the GPS or download as a GPX file now the advantage of open caching is we let's say we go into one of the geocaches is that we don't have to pay the thirty dollars a year to get all the details and all the logs that's one of the advantages and of course we have the one click uh, to load it up. So if we were to go back and load everything up onto our GPX or on our GPS we just click on the button and it will load it up. And there you go. We're all loaded up and ready to go. Alright we're about ready to go and get the geocache so before we do that though we want to change our profile. So profile change and we'll select geocaching and ju that's just so that uh, it'll rearrange some of the buttons and make it a little bit easier for us. So once we've done that, tap on the geocache icon, we'll find the geocache, and we'll list the nearest to farthest. So we'll take the first one at the top. We can see the details, we can tap on the title, so we can read all about the cache. And when we're ready to navigate, we just tap on go, and we're ready to navigate. We can hit our menu to either stop the navigation, or what I recommend you do is use the compass icon right here and that will give you a little bit more uh, useful information or you can use the map and tap on the top here bring down the compass page and again you can tap on the title here to get the description logs hints and log the attempt or find another so for example let's say we're getting close to the geocache we can either find, do not find, needs repair, or unattempted. So let's go and try to find this geocache. Uh, log our attempt, and we can log this as found. And what we can do now is find the next closest, finish navigating, or edit a comment. So we're done. So hit that, and now we're pretty much done. If we had a car mount, we can view the display this way, or this way, when we're hiking. All right, now that we're back home, we can uh, go and review the geocaches that we found. So we can always tap on the geocache icon. We can show found. It will give us a list of all the geocaches that we found during our excursion today. And if we hit on the menu, this will do a search. 
we can go back we can uh, do a filter so we can search by different cache types traditional multis all the way down the list if you have more than a couple on your device you can also filter by cache sizes right here and difficulty and terrain rating and also the different statuses